Welcome to alphabet time. Today we're going to work on the letters of the alphabet and blend word parts. So our I can statements for today are I can name the letters of the alphabet. I can blend word parts. First, we're going to listen to an alphabet song. All righty, friends. I hope you enjoyed that ABC song as much as I did. It is one of my favorites. So our letter that we're working on this week is the letter X. Can you see that letter X? The red arrow is pointing to the letter X on the alphabet wall with a computer alphabet wall. So we're going to be working on the letter X. X. This is the capital X and this is the lowercase x. And remember, each letter has two forms, a capital and a lowercase. X says X, X says X. Every letter makes a sound and X says X. Like in, at the end of mix, X, box, six, and fox, that X. Sound is at the end of each of these words. Say these words with me and see if you can hear that x sound at the end. Mix, x, box, six, fox. That's the sound that the x makes. Let's move on down our learning board. So this is a, one of my favorite poems. It's called My Dog Rags, and there's some movements to it. So first I'm going to say it and then I'm going to do the movement. I got it. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. You ready? So I'm going to put the camera up so you can do it with me. I got a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his belly sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flap wig wag, zigzag. Flip flop wig wag, zigzag. I love Rags and he loves me. That's my extended version. Let's say the poem together. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his belly sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. Flip flop wig wag, zigzag. Flip flop wig wag, 
zigzag. I love rags and he loves me. I hope you like that poem. It's one of my favorite little poems. Um, so let's move on to our next part of the lesson. This part of the lesson, we are going to blend word parts. Now, before we used to take two words and put them together, this time we're gonna break up a word by the first sound and the rest of the word. You'll see what I mean. So the first one we're going to do is z -ig. Z -ig. Do you know what that word is? Can you put it together? Zig. Let's say it faster. Zig. 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 Zig is the word. This is the word zig here, and this is it inside of our poem. Let's try another one. The next one is rags. Rags. Let's put it together by saying it faster. Rags. 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 Were you able to blend that word? Rags. That's the name of the dog in this poem. Here's the word rags up here. And this is the word rags in the poem. R and ags. And when you put it together, it says rags. Can you say rags? Say, I can blend word parts. Let's do another one. S ags. S ags. Now let's blend that together by moving it closer and saying it faster. S ags. S ags. S ags. Sags. Say, I can blend word parts. This is the word sags. Sags. And when you put it together, it says sags. Here's the word sags in our poem. Let's do another one. Ags. These last two words or three words have the same ending sound. Rhyming words have the same ending sound. Ags. Ags, ags. Do you know what that word is? Let's blend it together faster so we can say the word. Ags, ags, wags. Say wags. It's the word wags. Ags. Together, let's blend it together. Wags. Say I can blend word parts. Here's the word wags inside of our poem. Let's do one more. Z, ags, z, ags. Let's practice blending that together. Z, ags, z, ags. Now we're gonna hold that first sound long till we hear the, until we say this ending sound. Z, ags. Zags, zags. That's the word we're doing. See, zags, 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 zags. When you say the word faster, you can hear the word. The word is zags. And look at this rags, sags, wags, zags. It's almost a tongue twister. Say, I can blend word parts. And friends, that is all for today. So we've been learning so many letters and we've almost learned all the letters of the alphabet. Isn't that amazing? At home, I want you to practice naming the letters and the letter sounds we've learned so far. Until next time, friends, happy learning. Bye.